The Emmy of Elore, Dr. Ibrahim Sulugambari, says Nigeria has a bright future if our citizens can be more united and disciplined. He said this during a program commemorating the 25th anniversary of the death of a former chief of staff, Supreme Headquarters Major General Hatunde Diabo. Chief says Ibrahim Malege reports. It is my pleasure, therefore, to declare today the launching day for the war against indiscipline. The late Major General Tunde Diagma served with the then military head of state, General Muhammad Buhari, as the Chief of Staff, Supreme Headquarters between 1983 and 1985. The regime was famous for the discipline it inculcated into Nigerians through its war against indiscipline program. He died on the 24th of March 1999 at the age of 55. 25 years on, He's been remembered for his discipline and dedication to the Nigerian project. <laughs> the mayor of Ilori, Dr. Ibrahim Sulugambari, says Nigerians need to be disciplined and patient with the government to achieve the desired goals. Nigeria needs to be together. Things may look so bad, but later on, God will correct it for us. And people will think to come to, 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 to be okay. It will take time, some time, but we have to all be patient. It is in remembrance of the late General Tunde Diagma that 1,000 bags of rice have been distributed in Elori and scholarship also instituted in his name. I have to honor the general. Those who don't care is their business. It is my lifestyle. I believe in sincerity of purpose. And he was a great man. And I put his name in my name and I answered to him the truth. The day he was overthrown, I went to my room in Enugu and I locked myself. I told myself people that darkness had come to Nigeria in the day. We are in the month of Ramadan. Uh, probably we'll have done some people to one. So we are to, that's why we gave 1,000 bags of rice to people. And also look at, okay, fine, what can we do? It's also, also to offer scholarship to indigenous uh, uh, so. Even after 25 years, his death is still fresh in the memories of his family members. We continue to ask of you, your welfare, your health. So you see, I cannot quantify what I miss from him. Uh, discipline and perseverance and patience. In his honor, the federal government has renamed the Ilor International Airport after General Tunde Idiagbo, while the Kwara State government has equally named the tanker flyover after him. Ibrahim Alige, TVC News, Ilorin.